Yeah, give it up for the Muse Balloon Cannon. Very nice. When I was DJing in real life prior to here, I was in Baltimore working for a restaurant corporation. That, and I was the marketing director and entertainment director. And I had to come in every day and do the marketing for seven different restaurants and a catering company. Then I sent, found Second Life, and I'm reaching the world suddenly. It's taking an avatar such as myself to a website or to a location and putting yourself inside of the internet. From 2006 to the beginning of 2007, I was spending every second that I could while I wasn't working full-time, DJing as much as I could, trying to reach everybody that I could. And in 2006, I was one of the only DJs around in Second Life. There were, I guess you would say, quote-unquote, headhunters that started to come in. And uh, after the show, they were like, hey, I, I like your stuff. You ever want to come over to our club and DJ? And he paid me 3000 Linden dollars, which amounts to $15, $20 for an hour. I got tipped at the same time. You know, because I did that, it sort of, it snapped and light bulb came up on my head like, hey, if I can do this a lot more for a lot of different people. I need more yelling. Should I keep going? By 2007, I was like, I don't have enough time for Second Life if I'm going to keep this real job. So I, I just sort of told him, hey, I need, I need to quit my real life job. And I, I went full fledged into Second Life. Had no idea if I was going to make any money or I was going to be tossed out on the street. And it just, it just snowballed. It, uh, it took off. There were real life corporations asking me to do promotional events for them. I worked for Intel. I worked for AMD. Um, I worked for Electrolux for a little bit. There was CSI that came in World. The most that I've gotten paid is $150 US to do a two hour promotional event for a real life company. And it's, it's steamrolled into 2010 where I, I'm constantly being asked for work. My regular schedule is keeping it as irregular as possible. <laughs> I wake up in the morning, I'm in my pajamas, and I hop to a club, and I'm DJing at 8 o'clock in the morning to Australians and the Japanese. You know, noon to 3 o'clock, then the Europeans are off of work at home, and it's nighttime for them, and they have the full-on club experience for them. And then at evening, my time, I can, I can play for the Americans. It's definitely recession-proof in the sense that if I wanted to work, I could go out to any of the clubs that I you know, have DJed at, talk to the owners, talk to the managers, and get a gig, sometimes on the day. On the broad scale of things, I would say it's much easier to get a gig in Second Life than real life. It's not recession-proof in the sense that just the general spending inside Second Life has gone down. <laughs> My gut is telling me that, that I've chosen to do something that's going to be so huge a half a decade from now. I feel like I'm, I'm trailblazing something and I, I don't want to ever leave because I know this is the future. Thank you everybody for being here. All right, last tune. I will catch you next week. Uh -oh.